Hi, I'm over to All Seeing Cam, man. We back to the channel with another one. Today we're back with a week one Supreme unboxing. Week two just dropped last week. Week three has been hinted. I've seen the products today. Let me know down below if there's anything you're looking forward to from week three. I do like them jeans. I'm not gonna lie, there's a denim jacket and a denim jeans that are coming out. The jeans are hard, but it's like, do I really want two ninety eight for some jeans? It's a little. I'm like, eh, am I really gonna cop? I don't really know. I feel like I need more shorts. But that's not what we're here for. We are here for a week one Supreme unboxing. This is technically our first unboxing of the season. This is our first unboxing of the new Supreme season. Week one, we didn't go too crazy. We kept it light. We copped a couple stuff from other brands. You guys saw the revenge stuff we did. We've been doing a lot of Travis stuff hey, lately. And I still have like a, two more unboxes that I gotta do from two additional brands that I have to knock out real, real, real soon. So you guys will see those uploaded to this channel. Before we get to those, let's see what we received for week one. Week one Supreme drop. 11 a.m. I always like reminding you guys on February 15th, 2024. Let's see what item we got. I already see it right here. I hope it looks as good as it looks in this picture. Then I said I hope, but we'll talk about it after we do the unboxing. Weapons and blade. I love reminding you guys. I'm like, bro, I be having more weapons than blade. I be shocking myself sometimes. Cause I'm handsome. Stickers off the rip. Okay, we see a Supreme sticker right here. Supreme sticker. I'm assuming it's one of the graphics that came out on one of the graphic tees from week one. We see that Supreme sticker on there. That one's dope. I gotta add them to the collection. Anything else? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. We got the sticker from the t-shirt week one. On the back, it says all right under license from Podem Icons Limited. All rights reserved. Mr. Diego Maradona. What do you guys think? Are you a fan? Are you not a fan, man? This sticker is hard. On the, on the jersey, it says no drugs with the thing crossed out, which is very ironic due to if you know the story about him. If you don't, I don't want to ruin it. But Supreme Box logo on the bottom. This was a t-shirt from week one. Is that what we got? No. Just a good old faithful Supreme Red Box logo sticker as well. What we got was the Gold Cross S logo New Era fitted. Yeah, this is hard. Yes, this is hard. The question that I had was, is that gold on the front, like a pin that I can move around the hat or is it stuck right on the forehead? Also, you guys know how I feel about upside down crosses. That was another fear of mine, but I looked into it a lot and I was like, nah, it's a regular cross. It's a regular cross and the regular cross is fire. It's fire. See, I can't get a forehead tattoo as much as I would like a face tattoo. I'm just not there in life yet. I'm a couple more subscribers. You guys might see some tattoo over here. Maybe, maybe you might see a cross up here. We don't know. But until that day, I got a cross on my fitting. Let's look inside. Is it a pin? It is, but it's bolted onto the hat. It's weird. I'll be able to show you guys a bit more at the end, but it looks like you're not moving that. It looks like you're not moving that. Like, let me use my light. I'll show you guys better at the end what I'm talking about, but it looks like it's a, it's screwed in, I would say. Maybe there's another video from another YouTuber showing kind of how to move that, but it looks like it's bolted into the hat. Like, there's no moving that pin. Maybe that was done on purpose. I was already thinking of freaking that pin, throwing the pin on the side. I feel like the pin on the side would have been a little tougher, not directly on the center, but there's nothing that we can do as what it looks like. That's not moving. That's like directly into the hat. Okay, so you guys can see it better here. That S logo with that gold cross in the front. The hat did release in multiple colors, which we will go over. Before we do that, let's go over the details. We see the gray underbrim. The hat size is 7 3 8 that's the size we get in all hats. Side, you see that new era stitching, and on the back, red Supreme Box logo right over that in old English writing. You see the words world famous. Have you guys seen on other Supreme products before? Under the inside the hat, you see that Supreme tag over to this side. On the center, we see the new era logo. There's a tag, a hand tag that basically just tells you it's 100% polyester, and then it has a whole bunch of words in other languages. Made in Bangladesh exclusively for exclusive of decoration RN gives you the RN number the CA number and then we have another tag here which tells you the cuss number new era cap DACA Bangladesh November 23rd and it gives you a G27 number as well inside the hat we see that original 
new era print we always see that 5950 inside same thing with that gold sticker in the front you guys know we take that sticker off because this is not 2003 we're gonna do the zoom up details i'll zoom up close to show you guys but before we do that let me tell you guys the other colors that hat came out in it came out in light navy real tree camo pink black stone and teal i thought the teal was fire i thought the navy was fire i really thought all the colors was fire really what you needed more for your wardrobe i wanted another black hat because we just did the new era i believe patches hat which has all the nfl patches going around it which is super fire but if i'm wearing a loud t-shirt i don't want my hat to also have a whole bunch of patches around it now if i'm wearing a t-shirt that's not really too loud oh i have a flashlight on i apologize if i'm, if I'm wearing a t-shirt that's not really too loud then you know you throw the patches on but i wanted two different ones also that hat has the box logo supreme i wanted an s logo you guys know i love these s logos and i thought that cross was a cool little effect i thought the cross was a cool little effect you guys know that cross was upside down this would have never been purchased i don't like wearing stuff like that representing stuff like that to each his own to each his own you will be judged in judgment day that's not for me to do but i think this is a heavy hitter i think this is fire it's really simple nothing too much that gold adds a little like splash to it that teal was fire and that navy was fire but there's another hat coming out from supreme in a couple weeks that i believe is the s logo as well with different nfl with different MLB teams on the side and they have an, a the navy blue Yankee one so I really 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 want that hat so that's why I'm going for that one in navy that tree with the S logo on it as well in red is also really really hard and I feel like you can get that off of like a white tee in the summertime keeping it light but I really wanted this hat here in the black you guys let me know if you guys copped in any other color also retail for it in the United States was $54 poly new era 5950 baseball hat with embroideries on front side and back metal cross at front let's see if it's reselling last sale was actually under retail what size is this seven three eight so it's actually in my size the size we're actually holding right here seven three eight that has sold for 48 bucks which is under retail which is the lowest selling action which is the lowest selling one because before that there was two sales of 76 and 78 the same day as well this one even makes oh the 26 both of these hats actually sold the 26 so these hats just started selling yesterday it only has two sales and they both were the 26th yesterday. Today we're recording this on the 27th, so the hat just started selling. Let's see, is it still on the Supreme site? Sometimes people go buy resales without actually checking the website and it still be on there. Let's see the site. Yes, the site is still in stock, not all sizes. The Real Tree Camel one is sold out in every single size. And I think it's because it was actually something I've never seen before out of all the S logos they've done. I haven't seen something similar to that. It's a dope hat. It's a dope, dope hat. The more I look at it, I'm like, damn, I wish I should have just caught both. The black is still in in three sizes, 714, 738, and 7.5. And or cream colorway, rather say, that's still in in full size run. They still even have a size 8. God damn, that's a big ass hat. Let's try this hat on. I'm going to do the zoom up details, show you guys the hat a lot closer. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Do you like the old English in the back? Which I'm not always the biggest fan of old English text. I'm not going to lie to you. But in this hat, I thought it was fire, which is the reason I wanted it. The old English with the cross on the front, I just think it's something dope. And I already got a fit in mind that I want to wear this with. This will not be resold. This will be kept for my collection. This will be kept for my collection. Just to show you guys I'm not playing games, took the Band-Aid off. Because we would definitely not use that. Also, guys, I don't like wearing my hat so flat brim because it reminds me as well of early 2000s. So I bought one of these. I'm sure you guys could do it with rubber bands, baseballs. Just, you could just figure out what works best for you. But this to me is the easiest way to do it. You pick what size you want to go with, boom, right? You just bend the hat a little tiny bit. I just think it gives it the best bent on the top, but it's to each his own. But then you basically just leave the hat like this overnight. We don't actually have time for overnight, so we will try it on now. But as soon as I take the hat off, it will be going back in this until overnight. I know some videos I tell you guys I'm going to show you what I use, and I always forget. So this is the video I showed you guys. Let's try this on. After we try it on, zoom up details. Any questions you guys might have, hit me up down below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video on that way to 10 thousand subscribers we have a whole bunch of unboxings to do we just did the young brats revenge t-shirt if you haven't seen that go check that out we did a whole bunch of other revenge pop-up event for excess in miami unboxing go check that out what do you guys think about this hat are you a fan are you not a fan do you like it do you not like it i love it i love it i think it's fire it's actually really plain nothing too too crazy but I was, that's what i was looking for i was looking for a plane i wanted a plain s logo and i still think that little cross on the top doesn't make it too too plain i would still grab a little bit of attention a little double look like 
What was that on his hat? One of those effects. I'll show you guys how it looks inside. I don't think you're taking it off. And if you do, I don't know how the hat would look under. Like, I don't know if it would be like a burn spot. I, I suggest you leave the hat the way it is. Maybe there's other YouTube videos where people show them taking it off. I'm not too sure how that works. I feel like if you didn't want the cross, you should have just got the S logo without the cross on. It kind of makes this hat, this drop. Why would you buy it to take it off? Not too sure. But you guys let me know. Fan, not a fan, I think it's fire. I think it's dope. I'm a real big hat person as well. Let's check this out and then I'm gonna do the zoom up details. Yes, sir! I even looked at myself in the mirror. I feel like I like it even more now. Ha 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 what you up to? And if I wanna be a little, you know, the cut with the with the with the in the cut with the hoodie on and stuff, you guys know I took the Took the strings out of my hoodie. I've really been into that look. I don't like strings in the hoodie, but we're not here to talk about the hoodie. We are here to talk about this fitted. I think the fit is hard. What do you guys think? I think the fit is hard. I like it. I like it a lot. This will not be sold. This will be kept and worn a lot. So this is a hat you guys will see repeated. Fan, not a fan? Keep me posted. Let me know any questions you guys might have. Hit me up in the bottom. Hit me up in the comment section. I always have my social media somewhere around here, either on the video or in the description. Any questions you have, hit me up. Subscribe to the channel.